friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, I picked up this WV uh, Moultrie cellular camera on clearance at Walmart for $56. Uh, thought I'd just do a little review on it. I have not opened this up yet. Uh, WV, I have not seen too much information on YouTube for this. Um, I'm guessing because you see a lot of XVs and 6000s and stuff, but the WV I'm guessing stands for Walmart and they probably just change up the camo and stuff, that's what I'm guessing. But let's open this up and see what we got inside. Um, on the box, let me just go over that really quick. Um, it says easy setup 123.09 uh, um, is your trigger speed. Uh, 70 foot range, 16 megapixels, uh, 24 7 um, on the app. So you have to download an app on your phone, pay $5 a month, I believe. Uh, it also has uh, Smart Tag, they call it, which is Smart Tag. You can, I'm guessing, which I haven't downloaded the app yet, but I'm guessing you can pick the animals, people, cars, turkeys, you know, bucks versus does. Uh, you can pick what you want the camera to take more pictures of, I'm guessing, which we'll find out once we get this put out in the woods. But uh, let's open this up and see what all we got in here. I've had a number of friends ask me to do a video on this camera when they found out that I picked one up. Uh, pretty simple camera. It's a good looking camera. Uh, pretty large latch on the side which is nice. Uh, 12 batteries. Uh, it does take a video mode but with a video mode it uh, it does not transmit the videos to the app. You have to actually take the card. Um, comes with a nice strap to it. the owner's manual and a nice mold tree sticker for your vehicle and then the manual so I'm gonna go through the manual a little bit and see exactly how this works and get right back to you okay after entering everything in on the real tree or the real tree the mold tree app says device activa activation would you like to add one now um, I got kind of got a light above me, so I don't know how well you can see it. So I'll just click Add New Device. Allow Moultrie Mobile to access your camera for scanning the device and barcode. So I'll hit Scan. Allow. And validating. That was quick. It's validating, comes up with the device information. Hit next. Then it asks me what plans that I want. So either the Pro Series Unlimited, um, uh, which gives you one cam unlimited, unlimited Im images for $34.99 a month. Or you can go unlimited uh, $16.99 a month. Large gives you 1,500 images for $14.99 a month. Standard is 1,000 for $9.99 and monitor which is 100 images. Uh, paid monthly $4.99 a month. Uh, you have pay it up front for an entire year. Maybe $2.99 so I'm just going to do the paid monthly for at this point. Okay, so it shows the green light on the SD card, green light on the battery, uh, means the SD card is formatted. Um, I'm going to do connectivity status. Okay, it's blinking yellow right now. If it comes up with yellow, um, it's going to be a weak signal, but I am down the basement right now, so that's possible. Um, if it comes up with red, it means there's no signal. And if there's no signal, then uh, 
and it comes up yellow right now, which I was kind of expecting. Um, it has a chart also on the back of the camera for signal and what to do if you are getting bad signals. But I'm getting yellow. This is a Verizon camera. So I am going to go on the So on the phone app, um, if you can see that, the phone might be too bright. Let me actually bring the phone down and brightness. And yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but um, it shows the camera your smart tags, media, time of day, um, moon phases, temperature, uh, date range, uh, day or night mode, barometric pressure, ratings, custom tags. And okay, on the phone app, um, got to kind of angle it here so you can kind of see, but it does have uh, smart tags. So I'm going to tag deer. Dill. I'll tag buck, but there really is no bucks right now. Turkey and person. I'm not going to tag vehicle because there's really no chance of a vehicle being down there. <laughs> um, I'll go to high resolution. I am not going to do video because uh, you have to go down and check the camera to do video. So, if you can see. It's a little tough to see with this setup, but uh, and then adjust the time and adjust your date range and check your pressure and stuff, and then I'll save all the searches and apply everything. Okay, well, we got all the settings set up on the camera and on my phone for the app. Um, it was getting a yellow signal down here in the basement, so that means it was getting signal here in the basement so I'm guessing that once we get out to where I'm planning on putting this which is at the far end of our property um, it will hopefully get great signal like I said this one is the Verizon uh, WV6000 um, you don't see too many WVs online if you do a search so I am guessing that WV stands for Walmart brand uh, it should be the same camera as the XVs and stuff so uh, we'll check that out uh, we'll get it set up on a tree um, I did go out and pick up a Python lock to lock it up since it is a cell camera my old cameras I could really care less if somebody stole them I had one smashed off a tree by a trespasser but he never took the card so I still got his pictures which were turned over to the authorities well, 12 megapixel 8 gig card um, for the Python lock it does have this holds the straps which also go through the latch so nobody's going to be able to open it up and take your card as well so you can put the python lock through the top and through the bottom hold it securely to the tree um, along with the strap and I wouldn't have to go check the card um, I shouldn't have to so since it is cellular but if I did it on video mode I'd have to go down and download the images off the card just to check them because it will not send the videos to the cellular app. But why don't you come outside with me and let's go get this set up. Okay, I picked a tree to hang this on. I'm just gonna turn it on. And the lights are kinda hard to see. But SD card and battery are good. They check, press the button here. It's going to tell me if I connect or not. They're flashing yellow right now. And this camera does not have an antenna on it. It's built in. And there's no screen on the inside either. So you pretty much have to guess. And it says the signal and server are yellow. So that means there's not a strong signal but that could change with the weather. Uh, we're just going to leave it right here and see how it does. So I'm going to 
I finished strapping it to the tree. I really like the strap though, because it's spring. It's a spring, and it holds it on nice and tight. But I'm gonna get the Python lock out, lock it up. Oh, now the signal's to green, so so we have good signal. Uh, one thing I should mention um, with these cellular trail cameras, it doesn't matter if you get AT&T or Verizon, if you say like I have US cellular for a carrier and if my uh, carrier is not listed on the camera it doesn't matter because you're generally going through an app directly through the manufacturer of the camera or being that AT&T, Verizon, US cellular and stuff they all share towers. Um, whatever carrier gets best signal in your area like here it's Verizon gets best signal AT&T is horrible so uh, and then <laughs> this was the last camera they had on the shelf for $56 the Walmart brand I th I'm thinking it's probably just a different camel is all it is but uh, we're gonna leave this out here test it it says it might take 24 hours to process uh, everything and then once that 24 hours is up then I should start getting pictures so I'll walk in front of the camera a few times and see if it takes a picture of me but let's get this locked up and we'll see how this uh, Moultrie 6000 camera works. I just uh, activated everything, got it all turned on. Um, there's a little red light in the front. I don't know if that stays on or not. Uh, hopefully that shuts off. But uh, it's already sending pictures of me just setting it up uh, to my phone. So, And there's some tracks that have been going through here. Uh, I'm more interested when the snow starts melting in uh, the turkeys and uh, hopefully hopefully we got some turkeys back here this year they've been kind of non-existent for the last year but uh, this is where I usually bow hunt uh, it's my main sand area I've shot turkeys back here before but I have the settings on the camera set up so it uh, it's has that tag feature where it'll tag turkeys and uh, and I got set on 100 pictures a month, and we just had six inches of snow last or last night, and last week we had like high temperatures in the single digits and lows like minus 30. So uh, now today is like 32, 33 degrees, six inches, six inches of fresh snowfall, um, and hopefully the animals will start filing through here. They can usually come right past this tree here, so. We'll uh, see how it works, and I will update you as soon as I get pictures. Okay, well, the camera's been out for half a month, roughly. Uh, we really weren't getting much for pictures, so I actually went back out and lowered the camera down. I had it a little too high on the tree, uh, probably my fault. I had a couple pictures on there, but not a series. And so what I did was I took the camera, uh, which is still in the woods right now, so uh, all I got here is the box. But I took the camera out and lowered it down. And then since I was on a small food plot I have in the woods, I kicked a lot of the leaves and dirt and stuff away, exposing some of the greens and a few turnips and stuff that were already planted out there. And then I learned a few things. Uh, I learned that if you have your camera set on a zero second delay, uh, it'll keep taking pictures. So I basically burned through the 100 pictures <laughs> with still 13 days left so in them 13 days I can go up and I could upgrade the program if I wanted to to get more pictures because I am watching more for turkeys but I've been getting the same four or five deer uh, pretty repeatedly over the last week or so um, and it used up all my pictures I have available um, let me uh, show you on the phone app because uh, I did learn a few things um, I also learned that the phone app is relatively slow. I have to start it, then close it, then restart it again, then it comes up pretty decent. But uh, let me get the phone app open and we'll show you what I found on the, uh, on the camera. Okay, here's the app. I just opened it up on the phone. And, oh, and it is actually opening this time. So here's 
all the pictures that are on the camera and um, it's quite a number of pictures um, let me just click on one I'll show you and you can turn your phone sideways actually and it will reappear um, in a wider view you can download these pictures in a HD version and it will um, give you a, a clearer picture but these are just fine for now so um, some daytime pictures and the nighttime are kind of oversaturated but still not bad um, this is a morning picture uh, it does show you the time that it came in the date uh, the moon phase and the temperature um, it has been warming up here we've been getting snow melting and uh, like I said it took up you know quite a number of pictures in a short time after I kicked open you can see on the ground a little bit of green there um, that's from a plant planting that I had last year and once that's been opened up the deer have been coming in on it pretty hard so uh, let me show you a couple things here uh, when you want to go back it might be kind of hard to see on the camera here but a little arrow up in the top left corner hit that back because you hit back on your phone what's going to happen is uh, you're going to go out of the program and you're going to have to reset it uh, a little square up here it shows you multiple pictures you can do it so it's more of a slide so you can just look at the pictures that way um, tap it again it goes back you know to multiple smaller pictures and you can do it in different sizes and stuff too and you can sort through your pictures uh, and boy this is hard to see but you got the newest first taken time taken oldest first uploaded uploaded oldest first um, you can do all that and then on the bottom is where it says devices click on devices and there's my camera it shows the battery life and the signal that it's getting and this is where I can change the plan if I want to but if you go into settings, and this is where I learned, you got the camera name, motion detection. I got set on photo because it will not download videos. Um, upload frequency is immediate, and it actually works pretty good because uh, when I went down to adjust the camera, um, boy, within probably an hour, it was sending me pictures already. Um, upload warning limit. Um, it does have a thousand there. Um, I should change that actually to like 95 so I know um, I just have it on a single shot high resolution I did change the detection you just tap on that and you go 0 second 15 30 1 minute and 5 minutes um, I just clicked 5 minutes and it goes back uh, the sensitivity I got set on high you can format your card um, and the info strip you want turned on, manage memory and temperature. Um, so you know it has some pretty good settings. Uh, I think if I had it set on five minute delay, it'd probably still be good. But um, where it shows right here, you see the upper corner. It's taken 100 of 100 and has 13 days left. So I can go into here. And change the plan if I want to or I could buy images um, which I just would uh, save it around my phone I don't have to buy any images so um, so it's actually a pretty easy camera to operate it does work really well um, it does have maps on it too which I never did map where my phone is or I'm sorry where my uh, camera is and uh, but if I did it would show me exactly where the camera is has your account and then you go back and it has your, your gallery of all the pictures that's taken. Um, another thing that I noticed, let me get back to the very first picture. Now, if you look at this one, the temperature in the bottom says 69 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can see all the snow on the ground. Um, I'm attributing that to my backpack because I brought the camera from inside the house threw it in my backpack, then walked out and set it up. 
and this was the first picture it took. I was checking on my phone to see if it was working, and um, it said 69 degrees, and actually that day it was about 13 degrees out, so that was a little bit off, but once that photo got taken, um, then the temperature started reading right, and it said 29 degrees, and these are kind of the pictures I was getting. Uh, there's one deer off in the distance a little bit, 13 degrees that day, on uh, March 2nd, uh, 6, 27 a.m. So, um, it worked really well, and, but my thoughts on this camera, um, let me change here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on what I think about how this camera works. Um, on your select button, you click that, and then it's going to get this lined up. You can delete, select all, you can change them to HD. Um, if you go to HD, okay, that's what I was talking about, just on a random deer here. Um, and at the bottom of the screen, it shows resolution and tags and stuff. And if you go to the HD button, it comes back. Yeah, let's see if I can get that in there. Go on high resolution, this will use more data, and the image will still be on the SD card, and it will be uploaded to the next connection. And uh, then my next connection is going to be in 13 days. So in 13 days um, is when I'm assuming I would get that off the next connection. So. Uh, I'm happy with the camera. Uh, I gotta look at different plans to see if I want to up it or not. Right now in the spring, I'm mainly looking for turkeys. I'm not, you know, the deer I know are there. So uh, once fall rolls around, uh, and late summer, I'll be looking for them bucks because I'll have the food plots planted. So my thoughts on this uh, uh, WV6000 from Walmart. Um, I'm kind of glad that I paid a clearance price on it. Um, there's some things I wish I could do that other cameras I know in the same price class or on the $100 mark uh, can do, and uh, such as videos and uh, a preview screen around the camera and different, uh, how do I say that, different settings for more pictures for about the same amount of money. Um, so would I pay the 119 retail on this? Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Uh, it's a rather large camera, but you know what? It does work. Uh, it's going to do what it says it does, um, as long as it gets seller signal. Um, it does have a, a free extended warranty for two years if you wanted to go with that, um, and the different programs for the numbers of pictures that it takes. Uh, this is standard pictures I thought were clear. Um, and I didn't download any to my computer or anything. I just there's just on my phone, and uh, but you can download them. You can share them directly from the app to Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. So it does what it says it does. I just I, there's other cameras that out there that can do more than this camera can. But we'll keep using it all summer long, and uh, I'll probably give you some updates. Uh, the tag feature. All that's out there as far as the camera is concerned is those so but I'm waiting to see that turkey but now I have to wait 13 days for the next cycle to start and then I'll get a hundred pictures on that but I'll have my settings at five minutes delay on each picture um, in the fall I don't want to do the five minute delay because you might get that doe coming by with the buck following her and five minutes you could totally miss the buck and just have the doe um, so I'd probably go with a higher plan because uh, I know that area there's is a travel corridor from bedding to my neighbor's uh, soybean fields and let's say plant corn this year. Um, but to where they feed and where they sleep, uh, we don't have any food on our property to speak of. So I do a small food plot in the woods, a little bit of no-till and, uh, and some turnips just to kind of keep the deer interested. And then... Uh, I, down by our barn, which I'll show in another video coming up soon. Um, I've been doing a food plot, a couple acre food plot down there. So, but anyway, 
Uh, the Moultrie Mobile uh, WV6000 from Walmart. Um, I don't know if there are any more left at Walmart, at least the one the Walmarts around where I live. Uh, they are completely out, but they do have other cameras that are on clearance for a really good price. So if you're looking for trail cameras, um, now's the time to go take a look because everything's on clearance. I'm in the middle of March. Actually, we're still beginning of March. It's only March 8th today. But, um, but yeah, a lot of their hunting gear is going on clearance and they're making room for their fishing gear. Uh, which I'm really looking forward to fishing this season. Uh, there's going to be some new uh, new add-ons in our life to make fishing a lot more fun. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the Moultrie WV6000 cellular camera. It does what it says it does. And uh, But if you have a camera over a food plot or other forms of bait. We can't bait in this area where I live, but uh, once they found them greens and a few turnips that kicked up, uh, they are right on it uh, right away. So uh, easy setup, 16 megapixel. Um, it's like a 70 foot range on the sensor. Um, that's another thing I did when I first set it up. I didn't have the sensor set on high. I had it set on low, so that's probably the reason why I wasn't taking pictures. But once the snow was melted, we had about a foot and a half of snow, and once that was gone, the deer start filing in again but uh decent camera does what it does would i pay the 120 uh probably not because i know there's a lot of other cameras out there in that hundred dollar range that do more than what this does but it's a good starter camera if you're just learning which i am this is my first set of camera so uh it's a new experience for me and i'm learning more on regular trail cameras i'm fine uh we used to use i'm back in my day <laughs> we had the string the trail timer it was called you put it across the trail it takes one pit or it doesn't even take a picture it just triggers its clock tells you what time the de one deer came through then it went to the film cameras which you get the film pull it out of the camera and run to your closest one hour photo mat and get it d developed and you always wanted to have a 24 roll so you get as many pictures as possible um but you know now everything's in the digital age my personal feelings is that trail cameras are still behind um, they should have evolved a lot farther than what they have from what they used to be from a string to a tree to your film cameras then to digital cameras with like six megapixels or less um, to what they are now they're getting better and they're catching up technology is catching up but uh, but looking if you're looking for a uh, camera if you see one of these on clearance or on sale buy it it does work uh, full price, I'm a little skeptical if I'd pay the full price if I'd knowing what it is. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you uh, uh, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification uh, so you know when our next video is uploaded. And uh, we'll hopefully see you soon.